Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exalsfari.com. Today let us work out 25 multiple choice questions on plant hormones with detailed explanation. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing this channel. Let's begin. Agent Orange, the infamous leaf defoliator used by US military in Vietnam War was Option A, Ethylene, Option B, 2,4-D and 2,4-5-T, Option C, 2,4-D and Naphthalinastic Acid or NA, Option D, 2,4-5-T, NA and Ethylene. You have 5 seconds to make a guess. And the answer is 2,4-D and 2,4-5-T. This Agent Orange is a combination of 2,4-Dichlorophenoxyacetic Acid and 2,4-5-T. 5 trichlorophenoxyacetic acid both are synthetic auxins so we have given a simple summarized video on plant hormones you can have the link above or and also given in the description for better understanding you can watch that video and can attempt these mcqs moving into question number two precursor of indole acetic acid natural auxin is Option A, glycine, option B, methionine, option C, isopentanyl pyrophosphate, and option D, tryptophan. Your time starts now. Answer is tryptophan. Let's have a quick summary of plant hormones and their precursors. Auxin, the precursor is amino acid tryptophan, whereas chiperlin, the precursor is acetyl coenzyme A, but the immediate precursor is carnoic acid. Cytokine is an adenine derivative, the precursor is adenosine monophosphate, whereas abscisic acid, the precursor is zeaxanthin. Ethylene, the gaseous hormone, the precursor is amino acid methionine. Actually, S adenosyl methionine is converted to aminocyclopropane carboxylic acid, therefore, immediate precursor is ACC or aminocyclopropane carboxylic acid. Question number three, which of the following is a gaseous hormone? Option A, IBA, option B, NA, option C, abscisic acid, and option D, ethylene. And the answer is ethylene. This IBA is indolbutric acid, NA is naphthalinastic acid, both are auxins, and ethylene is a gaseous hormone. Question number four, which of the following is widely used as rooting hormone? Options are NAA, 2,4-D, 2,4-5-T and cytokinin. Answer is naphthalin acetic acid. So this is naphthalin acetic acid treated plant. You can see the rooting and this is without naphthalin acetic acid. So NA is an auxin, a synthetic auxin. Question number five. The following is an observation of a tissue culture experiment. Which of the following is true with regard to the image given? Options are high auxin to low cytokine in concentration induce shooting. Low auxin to low cytokine in concentration induce shooting. Low auxin to high cytokine in concentration induced shooting. Option D, intermediate concentration of auxin and cytokine in induced shooting. So let me summarize. In tissue culture, this auxin cytokine combination works for majority of plants. If there is high auxin to low cytokine, in, then there is rooting. Whereas low auxin to high cytokinin favors shooting. Intermediate concentration favors callus formation. So in this the option C low auxin to high ox cytokinin concentration induces shooting. Let us find out this from picture also low auxin that is this to high cytokine in concentration you can see favors shooting or shoot formation low auxin to high cytokine in 
concentration for us shooting sorry i forgot to put the timer all the following inhibits oxygen transport except chemicals that inhibits oxygen transport are called antioxidants options are a cytokinin b naphthalamic acid c235 triiodobenzoic acid d ethylene answer is cytokinin these three are antioxidants including gaseous hormone ethylene question number 7 which of the following bioassays are used to detect the presence of auxin option a a vena curvature test and tobacco pit culture option b split pea stem curvature test and tobacco pit culture option c a vena curvature test and split pea stem curvature test option d tobacco pit culture only so you have to read this question very carefully there is a mix up of options and the answer is this third one both avena curvature test and split pea stem curvature test both are for finding out the biosis of auxins or effect of auxins tobacco pit culture is used for cytokinin bioactivity question number 8 which of the following is an auxin receptor option a etr1 option b cbp1 option c abp1 and option d gre so it's very easy this answer is abp1 auxin binding protein 1 this is ethylene receptor this is cytokinin binding protein this is chiperlin response element so the option c is the answer question number 9 which of the following is not a function of auxin options are a inducing dormancy b enhancing cell division c inducing callus formation d maintaining apical dominance here the question is not as we know the function of auxin includes enhancing cell division inducing calcium formation in tissue culture maintaining apical dominance so the odd one is inducing dormancy it is actually promoting seed germination thereby breaking dormancy that's a function of auxin so the answer is a question number 10 nodule formation is induced by options are ipa B I A A indole acetic acid option C both A and B option D naphthalene acetic acid or N A A and the answer is indole acetic acid many reports suggest that at the site of nodule formation the concentration of I A A is very high or indole acetic acid is very high IAA is a natural auxin whereas NAA is a synthetic auxin and is also used as rooting hormone question number 11 which of the following is a natural cytokinin options are isopentanyl adenine zetin c6 isopentanyl adenine d6 aminopurine answer is zetin zetin is a natural cytokinin that is derived from cmis as you know cytokinin is an adenine derivative question number 12 the first kinetin isolated by miller was from option a coconut endosperm option b maize grains option c herring sperm dna option d wheat grains often we think of plants but the answer is herring sperm dna option c question number 13 acrobacterium tumefaciens type plasmids or tumor inducing plasmids tdna has genes for 
Option A, auxin and ciparlin. Option B, cytokine and ethylene. Option C, cytokine and ciparlin. Option D, auxin and cytokinin. As you know, this diplasmid's tDNA is involved in cell division and differentiation. Answer is auxin and cytokinin. This, is, this region is responsible for cell division that leads to the nodule formation in the plant. Question number 14. Pomalin is effective in increasing apple size and is a combination of Options are Option A. Auxin and Ciparlin Option B. Cytokine and Ethylene Option C. Cytokine and Ciparlin Option D. Auxin and Cytokinin Answer is option C, cytokinin and ciparlins. Question number 15. All the statements are true regarding cytokinin except Options are A. Promote cell division Option B. Delay senescence Option C. Induce dormancy Option D. Counteract epical dominance Here the question is except. So Cytokinin promotes cell division. This is true. Delay senescence, it is true as it is a growth promoter. It induces dormancy. This is the wrong statement. And its counteract epical dominance. It is true. It promotes lateral bud formation. So the option C is the answer. Question number 16. Kiperlins was named after a fungus called Options are Ciparla fujicore, Ciparla cadicri, Ciparla acuminata, Ciparla africana. And the answer is Ciparla fujicore. Option A. Question number 17. The Ciparlins present in the alluron layer of barley increases transcription of Option A, lipase and protease enzyme. Option B, protease and cellulase. Option C, protease and amylase. Option D, lipase and cellulase. And the answer is protease and amylase. Option C is the answer. Question number 18. Genetic dwarfism can be nullified by spraying with which of the following hormone? Option A, auxin. Option B, zetin. Option C, cytokinin. And option D, ciparlin. And the answer is ciparlin. Ciparlin is involved in the reversal of genetic dwarfism. What is called as rosette plants. These plants are called as rosette plants. On treating with ciparlin, as you can see, there is an internodal elongation and rapid growth followed by flowering, which is often termed as bolting. So, reversal of dwarfism or reversal of growth of rosette plants is by the treatment of ciparlin or it causes internodal elongation. Question number 19. Translocation of ciparlins is non-polar and predominantly takes place through Options are A. Xylem B. Phloem C. Both phloem and xylem D. By capillary rise Answer is through predominantly through phloem. Option B. Let us summarize the transport of different hormones. Oxygen transport is polar. It is from top to bottom, often called as basi petal. Whereas cytokinin transport is from bottom to top, it is often called as acropetal. Whereas ethylene is a gaseous hormone, therefore diffusion, abscisic acid, the transport is also non-polar. Just like ciparlin. Question number 20. All the following are functions of ethylene except. Option A. Promotes senescence. Option B. Enhances abscission. Option C. Promote ripening. Option D. Induces cell division. Here also the question is except. 
So this is true regarding promotes senescence or aging. It's also called a senescence hormone. It enhances abscission. It promotes ripening. It's also called as ripening hormone, ripening of fruits and leaves. Induces cell division. This is the wrong statement. So D is the answer. It is a growth inhibitor or it in inhibits cell division. Question number 21. Which of the following iron is an ethylene inhibitor? Options are magnesium ion, ammonium ion, silver and chlorine ion. Answer is silver ion. Option C is the answer. Question number 22. Ethylene treated shoots shows triple response that include epinasty, downward curvature of leaves, B lateral cell expansion, C loss of gravity response, D all of the above. When seedlings are treated with ethylene, there is a typical triple response. First, it stops elongation, followed by horizontal growth or lateral cell expansion or horizontal growth of this seedling, followed by forming of hook-like structures or bending of seedling stem or loss of gravity response. So the answer is all of the above. It's called as triple response. Question number 23. Which of the following hormones stimulates ethylene release? Options are cytokinin, option A is auxin, option B cytokinin, option C gibberlin, option D abscisic acid. Answer is abscisic acid. Abscisic acid and ethylene, the two growth inhibitors, works together in abscission and also in ripening process. Question number 24. The active form of ABA or abscisic acid is? Options are cis-ABA, option B trans-ABA, option C cis-2-trans-ABA, option D trans-ABA. Answer is plus cis-ABA. And the final question. During water stress, rise in ABA levels initially cause. Options are option A, stomatal opening, option B, stomatal closure, option C, reduced transpiration, option D, increased transpiration. Answer is stomatal closure. ABA is also called as stress hormone during drought or water stress. It closes the stomata so that that prevents further water loss by transpiration and that is it if you find this video useful please consider subscribing this channel sharing this content to your friends thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforay.com